Lowbackpain.com. Today I'm going to try to help you to get rid of that low back pain once and for all. You see, you got to start understanding what's causing the low back pain in the first place to really be able to conquer it. And I think a lot of times the advice that people that suffer from back pain get is just misdirected, it's misguided. They're looking at the location of the pain without actually looking for the source of the pain. And unless you get to the source, you're never going to get rid of the pain once and for all. So today I'm going to show you an exercise that you want to start doing and I'm going to give you different levels of progression depending upon how acute your back pain is. Okay, now first of all, if you're dealing with a really bad back that doesn't allow you to even move at the moment, you're not supposed to be in the gym exercising. What you're supposed to be doing is allowing that to heal, calm down, control the inflammation. If you're beyond that though, and it's more of a chronic problem, keeping you out of the gym or making your gym training sessions uncomfortable, then you gotta start with an exercise and start training those weak spots. 99% of the time, what's causing low back pain is a weakness in a joint below that. In this case, it's gonna be the hips. It's gonna be weak hips and glutes that are basically putting you in a position to be compromised in your low back. So what we do is we have a setup here. And in this setup, you can see all I need is a barbell and a band. And the band I have anchored to the back of this squat rack. Okay, however you anchor it, I have it on the back of some pins. So now I'm going to get myself in position here behind the, the band, and I'm not even going to worry necessarily about the bar just yet, especially again if this is something that you're, you're not in an acute stage, but you still have a, quite a bit of back pain and weakness. Okay, so you get yourself into the band, you just walk forward. It kind of blocks your progression into the cage. Now what you want to do is you want to position the band right across the kind of crease that happens right here in your hips, okay? Because the first thing it wants to do is teach you what a hip hinge is. Because most of us that have weak backs don't really know how to hinge correctly. So it would feel like here, moving me into this position here, okay? So it's just pulling me back, because when I let the resistance take over, it pulls me back into a proper hip hinge. It's taking me at the hips and bending me right at those creases here at the top of my hips. If I were to put this higher, like against my stomach, and I lean forward, right, allow this to take me back, it actually has me fold over the band. Right now I'm pulling myself into a flex position, which is going to cause problems for us that have low back pain. So first thing up here, now I walk forward, now all I do is I allow it to hinge me, and then I come back against the resistance of the band. Squeezing my glutes as hard as I possibly can and also extending here, staying up nice and tall to extend through the low back. So now we're tying together the glutes and the low back which are supposed to work together. They're both extending us. They're both bringing us back in this direction. We need them to be able to work in concert with each other. Most of us don't have glutes working at all so then the low back tries to accomplish that. Okay, the other thing you can see that would happen is if I don't have the ability to extend because I don't have strong glutes, so I can't extend, I start to have this posture where I fall forward, okay, because I'm not extending through the hips. The more I fall forward, the more responsibility is taken over by the low back, and that's trying to hold me up. But you know what? Doing that 24 hours a day, minus our sleeping time, that's too much work for the low back to do alone. It needs the help of the glutes. So get your ass to start working, literally. So now, what we do is we can work out one side or the other. If I straddle here, one leg in front, and I let it pull me back, then I drive forward. Let it pull me back, then I squeeze forward. What you're going to find is the leg that's, on, that's dropped back is doing all the work. So if I start this way, it's going to look like this. Hinge, squeeze forward. It will work my right side. Hinge, squeeze forward. I love this extension because it's closed chain. It's working us the way we're going to be working all the time which is predominantly on our feet. Okay, so down into the hinge and then squeeze forward right here through the glute. Now, you want to make it a little bit more difficult? If you have a healthier back, but one that you know is weak, now you can start tying in an RDL to it. So that's where our bar comes in. So we grab down, we got the bar, we walk forward just a little bit, okay, right here against the resistance of the band. Now I allow it to hinge me down to knee height, maintaining that arch in my low back, and I drive forward, and I use my glutes here to squeeze forward. Down, drive forward. See, at the top of this exercise, we normally wouldn't really have much resistance, but because the band is in place here, I still have a lot of resistance now being applied to the glutes. Now, last modification, if you really want to start taking this to the next level, you do this. Come down, hinge, bent row, here, now drive forward. Hinge, bent row, 
here, now drive forward. Now we're tying everything together. We have lumbar spine, well hips, then lumbar spine, then thoracic spine, obviously, because I gotta maintain extension through there too. And they're all working to pull. So there you have it. Now you have a weapon in your arsenal to start attacking that back pain of yours at its source. Remember, stop just looking for the location of the pain and start trying to find the actual source of the pain. You'll finally be able to get rid of it once and for all. You can't do that if you're just looking at the symptoms and trying to treat the symptoms, okay? This is just another example, guys, of how we put the science back in strength. You gotta peel away the layers a little bit to get to the bottom of what's really going on. The human body's pretty complex. We gotta be smarter than it to be able to solve its problems. And back pain is one of the biggest ones we have to deal with on a daily basis. Guys, if you found this helpful, make sure you leave your comments and thumbs up below. In the meantime, if you want a program that trains you like an athlete, puts your feet on the ground to train you like an athlete, and helps you to get bigger, faster, stronger while putting the science back in what we do, then I would head to athletenext.com right now and get our Athletics training programs. In the meantime, I'll see you guys back here again real soon. Let me know what you want to see. Leave your comments below, and I'll do my best to bring them to you here in the coming weeks. I'll see you soon.